Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me good, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. I play video series videos I've been doing for a little while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. Been a little bit since I've been to Subway, so there you go. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. And whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, you better believe I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, uh, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? I love this shirt. This is my, boom, my Steel Dawn shirt starring Patrick Swayze. Oh, I love this shirt. Because I love this movie. If you are unfamiliar, which is entirely possible, uh, Steel Dawn was, it's a much lesser known film that Patrick Swayze did in his career. Uh, kind of a post-apocalyptic, you know, I, don't know, I mean, it's not a like, sci fantasy kind of movie. I mean, you know, there's no real, like, outright fantastic, you know, fantastical elements to it, you know, but it's got, like, sword fighting and stuff, and, yeah. Uh, very fun movie. It's honestly, like, I mean, you know, when you think of Patrick Swayze and kind of action stuff, you think Roadhouse, and for good reason. I actually like this movie more. Uh, it actually puts on a pretty good display of Patrick Swayze's, like, you know, physical skill set. Like, the guy could fucking move, man. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of this movie, and so a few years ago, I was like, I wonder if I could just get a shirt of it. <laughs> anyway, what am I trying for your day, folks? What are we doing here? Well, like I said, we're headed back, finally, boom, to Subway. Specifically, this is their, this is part of their Subway series of premium subs. This is their Titan Turkey sub sandwich, which consists of 33% more of their oven roasted turkey, which I'm sure they actually mathematically calculate in every single sandwich that they do. Two times the provolone, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, lettuce, tomato, onion, mayo, and then they offer you obviously the type of bread you want. I got it on the Tosa Italian Herbs and Cheese Bread. Now all that said, folks, with this being a sub sandwich review, I have to preface it with three things real quick. Uh, number one, is that for over, well over a year now, I've been going on sub sandwich adventures, and what that means is I've been going out to basically every place that sells sub sandwiches. I've been trying them, I've been reviewing them, and I've been posting them here to YouTube. Second thing that I need to bring up, not only I've been posting them here to YouTube, but I'm such a nice guy, I go over there and I've been posting them to a specific playlist called Subs for Subs. So, if you like my sub sandwich reviews, thank you very much, first of all. Secondly... If you want all that sub sandwich goodness in one place, it's already there. If you just want to blitz a sub sandwich playlist, that's the one for you. But maybe that's not enough for you. Maybe that's just, maybe you're just a little bit greedier than that. Well, folks, and that's where number three comes into play because all you have to do is wait until Sunday. Why? Because Sunday is sub day. That's my kitschy little thing that I came up with. Sunday is the day when I go over there and I upload my sub sandwich review. So if you need more sub sandwich goodness... Just wait until Sunday. You're going to get at least, typically, two. You know, two, three, four. One time I did one. I never let that go, because I literally spent the entire day not realizing it was Sunday until way too late. And then I was like, oh, God, got to upload a sub sandwich review. But anyway, let's take a look at the sub sandwich. I got it as a foot long. Remember when you could get $5 foot longs? Yeah, you sure shit can't do that anymore. <laughs> I think they're like about fucking 12 bucks now or something like that. Bull. All right, but let's take a look at this. Open up. And let's do this. It looks like, boom, like this. I mean, that's a weird thing. <laughs> I mean, it's not a terrible looking sub, although saying 33% more turkey when that's the amount of turkey, like that's like typical amount of turkey you get at like a proper deli sub. But anyway, let's give it a go. It is spilling on me just a little bit. All right. Oh. Oh.
I mean, honestly, it's not half bad. I tend to shit on uh, Subway a little bit when it comes to their subs. Because they're the McDonald's of subs. You know, they're the most widespread. Everybody's familiar with them. But they're not typically the best quality. In fact, they're definitely not the best quality. But I'll give them a certain amount of credit, especially with the Subway series of subs that they've done. That they've done, like I said, you know, they try to have a little bit more of a premium kind of thing, added ingredients and stuff. And yeah, the, the, the problem is, is that in order to get a halfway decent sub from Subway, you pretty much have to order from their Subway series of subs because their normal ones just aren't that fantastic. But the Subway series itself, because that's ultimately what I'm grading this on, it's not bad. You do get a decent amount of turkey. Again, it's not a spectacular amount, but, you know, you're getting a decent amount of turkey. Um, the flavor on it is okay. It's not, it's not spectacular or anything, but it is, it's good enough in that even with everything else going on, it still shines through. You know, and turkey is, it's a great lunch meat, but it is, you know, a little bit weaker in terms of the flavor, some of the other ones. The nice thing with this particular sandwich is that it's hard to fuck it up for Subway. It's like, just put turkey and then other stuff, and you should be fine. And in that regard, it is fine. But that's the thing, it's only just fine. It's... Nothing about this is really standing out to me. You know, it's definitely not a particularly premium turkey sub... The veg is there, but it's not really making a huge difference because it's just, you know, it's probably been, you know, waiting out in one of those uh, little bins that they have, you know. It's just, it's very okay. I like the Italian herb and cheese bread. You know, it feels like some proper sub bread. Gives a little something extra. The mayo is probably the strongest flavor here. But even then, the mayo itself, like it just it doesn't feel like, like a proper deli mayo or anything like that. It's probably just, you know, generic, you know, either Subway brand or whatever. It's not a bad sub. And by Subway standards, it's definitely way better than a lot of the subs I've had from them. But... Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? It's always a little bit of a thing when it comes to Subway reviews because I really have very little reason to go to Subway outside of doing these reviews. I am blessed with an abundance of sub, uh, sub places around me. Proper like delis and stuff like that. I don't really need Subway in my life. So really what I'm doing is I'm reviewing it for people who maybe don't have those options. For me, would I get this again? I'm not going out of my way to get it again, but I will say, if I went to a Subway, it is a sub that I could see potentially grabbing again. If for whatever reason, maybe, you know, maybe I'm like stopping through a Walmart. A lot of those have Subways in them. Maybe I really just wanted a sub sandwich on the go. It's fine. It's a simple enough sandwich that it, Subway can kind of pull it off halfway competently. Even if it's not outstanding, it's still pretty good, and it'll certainly fill you up. Um, if I'm recommending it, that's where it's, again, it's a little bit more prevalent. Uh, if you are in a spot where, you know, your sub sandwich options are limited, I think for Subway, this is probably one of the better ones I've had from them overall. And in general, their Subway series of subs have been pretty good to me. You know, it's an okay turkey sub. Thing is, you could definitely make one that's better. Like, there's nothing here that you you couldn't just make yourself and it would taste probably ten times better. But, if you're like me and you're just kind of lazy, um, it's suitable. It's nothing outstanding. Again, it says a lot about Subway that in order to get a halfway decent sub, you have to go to their premium line. But, 
by that same token, there is clearly a little bit more effort here, and, you know, it's not a bad sub. Like, I don't have anything about it that I dislike, it's just nothing spectacular. So, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, tremendous rest of your year. Folks, go over there, have yourselves a truly proper sub sandwich-tastic rest of your life. Hopefully you're in a position where you can get better sub sub sandwiches, but sometimes you're not. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what do you do if you can't do all time? I know I can't do all time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try, excuse me, try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit. And sometimes we don't always have proper sub places to get our really good subs. It happens. When it happens, take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to try out the Titan Turkey sub, which to me just sounds like the boss, at, you know, like at the end of a very mediocre JRPG. Um, I would play it, though, to be fair, especially if it had a boss called the Titan Turkey. Uh, and maybe, maybe you know, what? maybe you're going to be like, Brandon, it's a decent enough sub, you gotta, you gotta go over there and be nicer to it. First of all, no, I don't. I recently, I posted up uh, a sub sandwich review from a place called Chicago Submarine, and I had uh, one guy in my comments go over there, and he's like, burr, 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 and, you know, you're just hating, and, burr, 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 burr. and it's like, first of all, I wasn't even, like, that mean to the sandwich or anything, it was, you know, okay, but it's like, I'm not gonna, go, it's like, I have to be honest with my reviews, folks, you know, this is a decent-ish sub, it's not amazing, it's like a proper C-, minus, but it gets the job done. I'm just saying. I'm not going to let my emotions affect my reviews. I have integrity. Not a lot. Like, you could buy it out easily. But, you know, I'm just saying. If anybody wants to go over there and spend a whole bunch of money and go over there, and, you know, like I said, it's for sale. Bye.